what buildings this is. This is where I went to school. This is Hinber Morrison School. Hinber Morrison School. Uh, I went to school here from about 1930 to 36. And then I went on to Glenachart Secondary School. My mother taught here from 1918 till 19, well, that's the lowest born, I think, 1924. Uh, the school was built about 1880. The first schoolmaster was Grant. What was his first name? Alexander Grant. We had a big family in this little schoolhouse. Um, his son. So the, the high part at the end there. School. Is, is the schoolhouse. Okay. And this long part on the left is. My father went to school here, of course. How many pupils would there have been here when you were here? Uh, in my day there was about 20 and we were in three rows of desks. The desk, the desk was seven pupils in each, in each row, in each desk. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Who was the teacher when you were there? Uh, Mrs. Mackenzie was teacher at Mosta for quite a few years. She was a widow. She had five of her family. She came about 1930. She taught here till about 1950, I would imagine. And where did you go after that? I went to school in Dumbledore. What kind of? place was that compared to this one? Oh well, there weren't, it wasn't a big school, still not a big school, about 50 pupils I would imagine, in the secondary, secondary department anyway. About four teachers we had then, were all subjects. What kind of schoolmasters did you have? Oh they were very strict. Oh tell us the about, the, tell us about the broch. The belt was uh, very much in evidence. The Broch, the headmaster, it was Fraser, Mr. Fraser, Mr. what is his first name? He was always known as the Broch anyway, and he was quite mad. And uh, demonstrate as a belting technique. Oh well, <laughs> now you boy, <laughs> after your hand, you would twist the you the belt. You'd and you get six of the best. And it's, apart from the pain, it's quite terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So did you get the strap much yourself? Oh yes, quite often. Mainly for not doing my homework. So they were a lazy pupil. I was the laziest boy in the school, but I wasn't the only lazy, laziest boy there were. There was yeah. one in every class, or two. Uh, so the, school's, the school here is all boarded up. What, uh, what happened to it? It was closed down for lack of pupils about three years ago, four or five years ago perhaps. Oh, not, not long ago anyway, in about, say, 1990. And, uh, and uh, went down to about three or four. So that would have affected you quite a bit. You were, what did you have to do with the schools? Well, I, I transferred the pupils into this school from Blairy and from Osai. I also did the school run into the Freyhead school for many years. And at one time, the Dalfrigate school was closed and there were two teachers. 
in this school. And I, and I kind of get pupils down from as far as uh, Tomprasky, the school here, for a spell. When was that? That was before the Hyder scheme started in the, about 1950. But after that, this, both schools were open. Both the schools had two teachers for a while. So it's the reverse situation now. There's, there's no there's, pupils uh, left here. And they're all up the Glen now. Aye. And they uh, also did the uh, school runs to Port Augustus as well. Yes. For a time. At one time, they from Kinnerhook to Port Augustus. And uh, with... Uh, Two school cars, I used to do a, a mileage of about 150 miles every day, carrying people to school. So it kept us quite busy. So the closure of the school here took away a big chunk of that? Well, what was it? no, this is, this is minor mileage in the, in the school runs. So well, what, what happened to your school bus business then? Well, um, about two years ago, the School contracts were out for offer as usual in every three years. And uh, my offer was not the lowest, so I lost the school contracts. So that was me more or less retired. That was uh, quite, a, quite a hassle when uh, your buses were always breaking down as well. Well, they weren't always breaking down, but they. The la last year I had uh, brand new. Uh, I had a little bad luck. So you're li a long time ago you were running a fleet of buses? I, at one time I ran, what? Most, I ran about six. What uh, were they for? Well, they were mainly on the hydro schemes, carrying workmen. In the 1950s? Uh, in the 1950s and uh, 1950s mainly. I ran these buses as far as Bucky and Aberdeen when the men taking men home for a weekend. Um, I remember looking at this hole in the wall when I was a school kid here myself. What what is it? There was a tap there where we could get a drink of water. There was also a, a sink and a tap in the school lobby there. And so the toilets were down at the bottom of the playground here. That's what this extension here is. Yeah, this that, is now the toilets. This is the new toilets. New toilets and, and canteen. Canteen. But you had to go outside in the old days. Uh, uh, came to school first, there were dry toilets, dry closets down on the bottom of the playground there. Uh, but in my day, school days, there the, the was uh, the fitted water closets here. Yeah. Yeah. That was the boys' playground there. So you had separate playgrounds for oh, the, the girls so and the boys? The girls' playground was over there. Over and the other side of this wall here? The other side of the wall. And we were very much segregated. Yeah. Well, we had to we were very much segregated. Even in a small school of 16? Yes. 20? Yes. And how long did that go on for? As long as, long as you were here? Well, all the time I was in school here. Were they not segregated when you were in school? No, no. No? Did you have separate entrances as well to the school? Well, no. No, no, there was only one entrance to the school. So what did you do in the playground here? Well, we played football, we played shitty. It wasn't much of a pitch, it was big enough. So we also spent a lot of time running around with a piece of stick, which was a car. Boom, 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 boom. Round there, up here, round there, round and round and round. Boom, boom, ah, pick up, up, boom, boom, boom. So what about when it snowed? I know I had some oh, good, good fun down here. Oh, it could slide down the bank in a tin tray or something We hadn't advanced to plastic bags in these days. <coughs> Here was the school garden. It was fenced off there. And we were taught gardening here. We grew leaders and 
So it's all tarred over now, tarred and over there's them. grass going through the through the yep. tar again. Yep. What's this? What's this bit over the wall over there? Over the wall was a school, a schoolmaster, school teachers' garden.